Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this channel I give you the tips and tricks to help you grow your career. So if you're new to the channel don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos. And if you're coming back it's lovely to see you. And on this week's video I'm going to be highlighting without foil. So I'm going to do a quick refresh using a couple of products to show you how quick, how easy and how simple it can be. And stay tuned to the end of the video for a little secret tip that I've got. So let's just do it. So as you can see I've got my head block here and she is in need of some TLC. People tend to go for permanent colour and I think it's overused too much. I tend to only go for permanent colour if I'm trying to cover grey or if I need to lift natural hair. Otherwise I try to stick to my tone and tones and my semi-permanent colours. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this colour a quick refresh with the hot shots. Now hot shots are a coloured conditioning treatment and they go on pre-washed towel dried hair from 3 to 25 minutes. The longer you leave them on the longer they're going to last and the deeper the colour is going to be. So I really am just going to give this a quick pep. I'm going to use the chestnut and I'm going to just put this on for 3 minutes and then I'm going to blast dry it off and we'll move on to the next stage. Okay so I'm going to be using my B brown and I'm going to be using my blonde as well as to thicken it up and enable me to do this freehand technique the colour your way. And I'm also going to be using a paddle board to paint onto. Now you could just do this totally freehand if you want but I'm just using a paddle board to make it a bit easier. So section pattern wise I'm actually following another video that I've already done called the only foil technique you ever need and I'll link that here and I'll link it in the description below. And there's a lot of other information in the description below relating to the equipment that I've used and other videos that might be helpful so why not check that out. So for the section pattern I'm following exactly the same section in as I would for the nine foils but obviously I'm not using the foil in this instance and also I'm doubling up so I'm I'm actually going to do 18 placements of colour. So now let's check out what our colour looks like after I've applied the hot shots. Okay so I've mixed up my colours and I've sectioned out a horseshoe section on the top and I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to do my two colours, my B brown and my blonde and I'll tell you a little tip about the blonde just at the end of the video if you want to stay tuned. Now just for fun I was digging through some stuff and I actually found my old highlighting comb. So I haven't used this in donkey's year so I thought it would be kind of fun just to give this a go. So you have a wide section and a narrow section so I'm going to do wide sections with the brown and I'm going to do narrow sections with the blonde. So for anybody who's never used one of these they are quite fun to use. You just take your section like that, you put your wide end in, slide it over, pick up and there you have your highlights. As you can see I'm just using a board and I put some colour on the board before so that the hair gets colour on both sides and you can see as well the colour your way has really thickened this product up and now we're going to take our next section And on this section we're going to use the finer weave. Again I've just preloaded my board and the colour your way has thickened this up. Now onto our sides, exactly the same on the side, we're going to do a thick weave of the brown, fine weave of the blonde and then the same on the other side. Again in with our thick, again in with our board. Okay so now I'm going to move on to the internal. Now don't forget the video for this is actually linked below if you want to watch that to see how it's done. But if you'd like a head sheet for this technique whether you're going to use foils or whether you're going to do it freehand 
Follow the link in the description below to my website, subscribe and I'll email you over a free head sheet. So I'm just gonna complete the internal of this and then I'll show you. Okay, so we're all done as you can see. Now the processing time for both of these is 35 minutes or 15 minutes with heat. So I'm gonna add heat for 15 minutes, dry it off and show you the result. Now, this is a really quick technique. You can do this in the salon and it really hasn't taken me very long. Even with the shampooing and the doing the hot shots, this whole process from start to finish has literally taken me about 25 minutes. Add in a 15 minute processing time and then your blow dry, your client is gonna be out in under an hour and have an amazing color. So if you'd like more information on any of the colors I've used, again, they're linked in the description below with a more detailed video into those. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, here's the finished result, just blow dry it off and we have a beautiful shiny color and that's from the hot shots, as well as our definition definition with the blondes and with the bee brown giving us a nice contrast now now obviously you could do this with any color because the color your way powder can go into any of the colors thickening it up and meaning that you can do freehand whether that's balayage whether it's like I did where you used the bald and this sectioning pattern. Now at the beginning, I also said that there was a secret technique, which I'll let you in on bit of a disclaimer here. I am breaking the manufacturer's instructions in this and therefore if you do do it, obviously it is at your own risk. However, within the spirit flight range, you have some toners. You have a beige, a violet, a brown and a blue. And I actually put into my blonde just half a centimeter of the blue toner. And you can drop these pigments into your bleach and again, you will get the similar sort of results. So if you wanna have a little play around, then you can with that. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. This channel isn't sponsored and it needs your support to keep growing and I thank you.